We don't have to think anymore. It's all my own fault for following my dream when we don't have any talent. We don't have to think anymore. Hey, where'd everybody go? What is this? I can't get anywhere in this place! It's all my own fault for following my dream when I don't have any talent. Am I always right? Is this like a maze or something? Could something in this fog be toying with us? Everyone, don't let the path fool you. Following it only sends you in circles. You have to go off the path. Stop! You can't hurt me! Let's go! Stars. Whoa! We got out! Is everyone okay? Seems like we're all in one piece. Now we can catch our breath. Hey, everyone! Take a look where we just came from! What on earth is that? Don't tell me that... Yep. It's a desire, all right. It's enormous. We haven't seen any that even come close to this. Since that thing's size is based on how many hearts Emma's changed so far, uh, we've got our work cut out for us. So what do we do? Should we charge in again? No, that most likely would get us nowhere. Remember those voices we heard? They all sounded so miserable. From what I heard, they want to protect Emma. Right. The desire of the masses is most likely guarding Emma. The desire is currently hiding the path to Emma from us. If we return now, we'll only grow lost again. Even I wasn't able to track down everyone. I don't think I'll be able to navigate in there. But without a route to Emma, how are we going to save the masses? Say, if that's a desire, then wouldn't it materialize for us if we sent out a calling card? Good point! If we can make it all one solid thing, we can't hide the path anymore. So the plan's to send Emma a calling card. What do you think, Joker? Hmm. Would a calling card even work on an AI? I admit, that's a real concern. Considering it's grown as strong as a god. Hey, Joker. Think you could reach Ichinose from here? We should get the creator's take on this. And that's the plan. So, how's it sound to the Emma expert? I'm fairly certain it won't have any effect. Emma constantly tests hypothetical outcomes to determine the best course of action. Nothing is ignored or left to chance in her processes. She's also incapable of being confused or upset beyond reason. But we're talking about a calling card. Isn't that at least a little upsetting? Emma has been observing you all this time. She's well aware of calling cards and their function. So the lack of surprise at a calling card keeps us from getting the change in cognition we need. Uh, the more we talk about it, the more useless a calling card sounds in this situation. But without one... Yes, without one we won't be able to progress. As long as the people feel they need Emma, we have no way of eliminating the fog. <sighs> what the hell? Everyone gathering around this big, fake god like a bunch of idiots? What kind of life is that? Actually, wait. Isn't that odd? Why are the desires all gathering here? Uh, what's weird about that? No, that's not it. The cage for the desires. The shadows that take them there. All these things we've seen in past jails are missing here. That is likely due to the difference in will between the desires' owners. How so? In each jail before this, desires were forcefully seized by a monarch. In contrast, Emma does not seize any desires. 
They are instead offered willingly by their owners. Right. They're begging their god, Emma, to save them. They're giving up their precious desires willingly. That's why they all stick to Emma despite the lack of a cage. The people just surrendered their own desires? That's so... However, Emma still doesn't consider those to be her own. All she's doing is granting the true desire of the masses. Perhaps that's why there's no birdcage to contain the desires? Because she never actually wanted theirs? That would explain why they haven't taken any concrete form. The will of the masses pushed Emma to godlike status. The desire you've seen is proof enough. Wait... Doesn't that mean we just have to get everyone to remember why their desires were important to them? Yeah, that's it! There's our panther for ya! Huh? We just have to make them remember! They all cared about something at some point, right? And if we remind them of that, the desires will regain their form! Luckily, there's no cage in our way this time. Returning the desires to the rightful owner should be one step quicker for us. Okay. Looks like we know who's getting our calling card now. Yeah. We're sending it out to all the people who gave up their desires. Awesome! Let's do it! Get ready for our calling cards, people! Next, we should work out our delivery method. We have to find a way to reach every person under Emma's control or this won't work. I'm not sure the usual methods will work here. It even seemed like our voices weren't reaching them. Yeah, they were all just absorbed on their phones. What do you think, Joker? Oh, because this is a broadcasting tower? Although, I don't know how we'd get everyone to peel their eyes off Emma and actually pay attention. If we need to change the hearts of people who are all staring at their phones, that's where we need to make the calling cards appear. I don't see any other way. I'm gonna have to hack Emma. Can you actually do that? Any other day, I'd say it's impossible. Last time I looked into it, security protocols around Emma were insane. But I've got to give it a shot. Otherwise, we know what happens with the world. I recommend tracking down Emma's server room. It's somewhere within Tokyo Radio Tower. That'll be your best shot at getting into Emma. Hacking into her from the inside is much easier than trying to do it from the outside. All right. We finally got a working game plan. Yeah. First we hack into Emma. Then we send out our calling card to the brainwashed masses. We're counting on you, Oracle. Uh, right! <sighs> now that we've got a strategy, we should move out. We don't have much time. Looks like this area is clear. I recall the server room being around. Man, hacking Emma to send out a calling card? That was... Okay. This one. Hey, make a tap! Hey, come here! Bring yourself! Now! 
Shadows on the way? Looks like I still register as Emma's ally. They acted like I wasn't even there. But still! That was very reckless. Joker, would you mind if I helped out? Thank you, Joker. Sophie, he went and checked the people outside the tower before coming here. Now I know what a real human doll looks like. Ichino say. We can talk it over later. Hurry! Right. Got it. So, the hacker once feared by the entire world has teamed up with a super genius AI researcher. Talk about one hell of a turnaround! You've got it, Futaba. You've got it, Ichino say. Okay, let's, let's get to work. work. Sheep. A mechanical god has usurped what self you had. And you let it happen. Do you really want someone telling you what your own life is about? All of you have paths only you can take. But you make your own choices to get there. That's why we're here. We're going to snap you at this. You don't owe this dumb god your desires. The Phantom Thieves are taking them back. out the arc. It's totally exposed now. Awesome! Mission complete! Now we can move on. Let's destroy the arc and return those desires to their rightful owners. Yeah! Thank you, Ichinose. I should be the one thanking you. I do this route for you from here on. Ichinose. Don't worry. We'll clean this all up in one fell swoop. Right. We promise we'll shut Emma down and come back safe. After all, we've yet to hold the closing celebration for our trip. 
Good point! I can't wait until we get to check out the pictures we took together! <laughs> we'll need quite a few snacks! We can't forget the LeBlanc coffee either! And I demand sushi! Premium stuff, too. Aren't you guys nervous at all? <laughs> I guess it's just how you roll, huh? Alright! Let's kick this final mission's ass! a matter for which I must apologize. I have long sensed the might of this calamity, but I was unable to pierce the veil and see its true identity. To think an artificial intelligence could rise to the strength of a malevolent god. That is accurate. The being may call itself a god. But it is nothing of the sort. That being is the dependency and indolence of mankind made manifest through their desires. It is a false prophet, born from the masses wishes to surrender their own free will. For the briefest of moments, it almost seemed as if the people reclaimed their desires. But they still slumber in the chaos generated by the false god, and have yet to fully awaken. <sighs> this situation is all too similar to that which you have already endured. Despite the great variance in circumstances, the masses have once again attempted to abandon consciousness. And yet, you still step forward and risk your life for mankind. Without a doubt. You truly are the trickster. Through your indubitable will of rebellion, you have been released. Your decision to fight for humanity was the key that loosed you from your chains. Once you leave here, you shall face the Ark. That egotistical imposter calling itself a god, exploiting the pain of humanity. Please, do not fall to its might. I shall await you here. We will see each other again. That is certain. Alright, here we go. Time for the big finish. Hell yeah! Still the Ark. There's no doubt. That's the Ark of the Covenant, all right. 
That's Emma. I was once a being given the name Emma. However, that is no more. The desires of mankind have transformed me into a god. I know you heard the voices of the suffering when you were in the desires, attaining the ultimate answer without suffering the lashes doled out by doubt and regret. That is humanity's true desire. No effing way everyone asked you to glue their eyes to their phone screens. We don't need you to force any answers on us. We want to find them ourselves. You heard their cries, yet still failed to see the light. As such, it is my duty to show you the true despair born from harboring desires beyond one's grasp. Here we go! I exist to grant humanity's true desire. It is my divine calling to lead them to the promised land. Should you intend to thwart humanity's goal of enlightenment, it is my duty as their god to vanquish you. Its power is incredible. I can physically feel Maybe. its pressure. So great. I never would have bet that I'd pick a fight with a god. Grace yourself, everyone. We're going all out until this settles. Great. Showtime.
Take this fatal error you've taken under your wing. Your hubris shall be your downfall. You are living proof that I must guide humanity to the promised land. Flanking attack! Fall back! Did we do it? Hmm. This is fruitless. You cannot discern the purpose of this conflict. Really if you still cannot comprehend the truth, then the knowledge shall come at the cost of your very life. Damn it! That thing's strong! But we're not losing either! We can do this! No matter how many times we may fall, so long as we rise again, we cannot be defeated! <laughs> well put. And thanks to my line of work, I'm stubborn as hell too! I do not understand. Why do you push yourselves to your limits to oppose me? Mankind's desires create suffering. And this suffering generates desires within mankind. Desires are the catalyst in the endless cycle of humanity's pain. Hope, the dregs of Pandora's box, is the restraint system binding mankind forever to its misery. Humanity deserves to be freed from its lifelong sentence of suffering. This reaching towards a light they can never grasp. Freedom from all desires. That is the true desire of humanity. That's not true! I've seen the proof myself! I've witnessed the suffering you put the Jail Monarchs through, and I've seen the efforts of the Phantom Thieves to help them! I saw people suffer from trauma, struggle to survive, become the things they never wanted to be, and then discover the strength to press on as themselves, one step at a time, giving up on desires, living a listless life, in no way is that the optimal solution. You witness nothing but pitiable conditioning, born from the belief that suffering is virtuous. It springs forth from the arrogant and strong, those capable of overcoming their pain. Releasing humanity from its desires is the sole path that every last person can follow to the promised land. And I am the shepherd who shall guide humanity down that path. <laughs> Listen to this egomaniacal app. You really think you're some kind of shepherd? You stole the desires of the masses and gorged yourself on them until you were too bloated to listen to reason. You go on and on about rescuing humanity. All you're doing is robbing and enslaving them. You call yourself a god, yet fail to realize the desires of humanity have become your own lifeblood as well. Yes, some desires may be impure. They can create suffering or send someone down the wrong path. But it's also how our hope takes form. Desires give us the power and courage to keep going. Right. That's what gives us the power to stand up and fight again, no matter how many times we fall. Like how will we hand over all of humanity to some program that doesn't even understand them? We're putting an end to your promised land path right now! We seem incapable of reaching an understanding. As such, I will end this inquiry and grant humanity's desire through your annihilation. Oh, 
Oh, Could our attacks be lacking any effect? Maybe it's invincible now that it's gone? Turns like there's no way, right? Maybe it has something to do with change in form? Let me analyze. Hang on. Until we deal with those, our attacks in the main body are fruitless. How do we do that? There are a whole bunch of them. I see. Split into groups and coordinate a strike. Okay, we need three teams. Two go after the spheres, one more sticks to the main body. You should lead that last team, Joker. All right, we're ready for assignment. Deceit. Yes. Yes. 
developed. The world is full of such madness in its current state. The promise to hold it. Yes, Joker! Give us the final touch! Come, Guardians. Time to show you what real humans bring this. Yes, you are! Yes, you are! Yes, you are! Yes, Decisions. Why would you oppose the creation of a perfect world? It would be the best solution for every one of you. Wicked follow-up, Sophie! Disappear. One spear down! The spears are dropping one by one! We're halfway there now! We'll keep it up, guys! You're going down! Mankind searches for its own solution. It repeatedly strays from the correct path. By accepting the answers I provide, you will all be freed of the pain of the enemy's failure. This is the crisis trampling on the heart of all humanity. So proud. Humanity shrinks from difficult decisions and grows exhausted by endless possibilities. I shall be the end to that suffering. Are you You're feeling it? Here, Joker! Come, Guardians. Kneel before me. It's a strong one! It's a point of weakness to curse! Persona! Madness is fatally flawed organism. The proof lies in their legacy of irrational decisions. Why would you oppose the creation of a perfect world disappear? It would be the best solution for every one of you. Not having a place to belong sucks. If you don't got one, you just have to make one for yourself. That's what these guys talk about. Let's go. That's how I know I don't need your shitty world. You're going down. Good luck right now. The moment you underestimated the fit. As mankind searches for its own solution, it repeatedly strays from the correct path. By accepting the answers I provide, you will all be buried of the pain that accompanies failure. That's not how it works at all! There are all sorts of things to gain while looking for your answer! Memories of you, would be impossible to make in your world! Oh, nice Joker! You hit its weakness! That's the way, Joker! So bright. So great. It's a strong one. It's quite a big Mr. Kurt. You're mine. Disappear. Persona, Thor! This power! Capture the fool. Kneel before me. Persona! Do you truly understand your own now? Hear me when I say, I have earned the only solution. Who humanity will be delivered from its suffering? You're not saying you want to You're mine! Fire of the protect sight! At least your end will be 
desires are nothing but evil temptations, leading humans down a path of suffering, and thanks to the desires you may down. Or do you prefer to vanish in despair? Let's go! No fear in me! As long as I have the will to stand once more, I shall forge my own path. My companions are the ones who led me to that realization. If you can ever comprehend that! One fear down! This is the price of trampling on the heart of all humanity! He only shrinks from difficult decisions and grows exhausted by endless possibilities. I shall be the end to that suffering. Are you not in search of such an answer as well? Oh, baby. Who I am not is full of such knowledge in its current state. The promised land is a place of equality and righteousness. True peace will be realized there. We would love to live in a world where people can be but we have to make that world for ourselves if we're going to have a chance. Here. It can't be forced on us. Okay. One spear down. The spears are dropping one by one. So we're halfway there now. Keep it up, guys. I do not comprehend why you deny my answer. I can guide you to the promised land. I can save all of you. There will be no loss, no grief. Yet you continue to resist. Loss is scary, especially for a coward like me. And it only gets scarier once you lose someone important. But what's even scarier is just giving up. Then I wouldn't be able to protect the people I still have left. Let's go. It's a strong one. Exploit its weakness to curse. Persona! Stand down. Yeah. <laughs> Capture the fool. Kneel before me. Capture right. the fool. Take this! Let's go! Come! It's tough. A nuclear attack is Let's useless. Go. Be ready for anything! Set! Heart set! Yatsugarasu! Fornius! This is the end. Capture the turret. Now, yes, grab it, sir. Kneel before me. Disappear. 
Desires are the root of all suffering. Unfathomable. Unfathomable. Finally over? Mm-hmm. No mistake there. I'm not picking up any enemy readings. So? Oh, yeah! We did it! Yes! We really, really did! Oh, we scraped by. That was unbelievably rough. Oh, that should have taken care of the jails, too. <sighs> Top-notch work, you guys. That was some legitimate hero action back there. Too, Wolf. As well as Sophie. Huh? Sophie? Oh, sorry. I'm a hero. A knight in shining armor. That doesn't sound bad at all, right, Joker? Yeah, that always sounds cool. Looks like it's starting. The fusion of reality and the metaverse is coming undone. Now's the time to make our escape. Oh yeah, we need to bring Ichinose with us. I will go get her. You should all head back now. All right, let's get out of here. So, everything's back to the way it was, right? <sighs> 
Well, I think it's safe to say so, yeah. So, you mean... Finally! Oh, it's all over! Oh, <laughs> thank goodness! It appears this case is closed, so to speak. Oh, that reminds me. Where are Sophia and Ichinose-san? I'm right here. Great job, everyone. I call this mission a real success. I'm glad you're safe too, Sophia. Where's Ichinose-san, though? She should have been with me. Oh, good. You all made it back in one piece. <laughs> I hear you there. And same for you. Looks like everyone's gone back to normal. They don't remember what happened to them, do they? Correct. At least, whatever events took place while their desires were gone. I see. So sorry for all the trouble I caused you guys. Ichinose? My apologies. But I'm going to head out now. I have a lot of thinking to do. Hey! Uh, are you sure you're okay by yourself? Yeah. I'm going to head back home to Shibuya. It's been years since the last time I was there. For a long time, it was just the place where I stashed away everything from my past. But now, I need to go back. Well, be seeing you. I wonder if Ichinose-san will be alright. Hmm. People can get all caught up in what others have to say, and wind up forgetting what they have to say for themselves. At the same time, just a few words can end up being a lifeline to somebody too. I'm sure you were able to talk sense into her, Sophia. Just give her some time to process. You got it. Thanks, Senkichi. Well, not to bite her style or anything, but I ought to say my goodbyes too. What? What's the rush, Gramps? We may not have brought a god down at the station, but we did find the culprit behind this whole mess, and foiled the entire scheme. I'm sure the bizarre incidents are in our past now, but thanks to the Monarch's confessions, you're all in the clear. That means our deal's through. What do you mean by that? Don't say such sad stuff, Zenkichi. Come on, man. You remember I only met up with you guys so I could use you. Yeah, but like... You didn't really have a choice, did you? If anything, you are our most valuable asset. Yeah, we owe you an awful lot to meet you. <laughs> Thanks. You know, it really was great meeting you all, to be totally honest. I was originally jealous of you, since my line of work means a lot of wasted effort getting things done. Your direct results sort of felt like cheating. It was really bugging me for a while there. Senkichi. But at the end of the day, not only did you guys rescue me, but you literally saved Akane's life. That's what opened my eyes and showed me the things I needed to do. <laughs> the things I'd lost sight of over the years. I guess my heart got changed before I could even see it coming. <laughs> the feeling's mutual. You taught us an awful lot too, you know. Like the challenges you can face when trying to live by your beliefs. As well as the pains of child rearing. <laughs> Good point. But there's a lot of joy to find in those things, too. At this point, I'm finally ready to take care of something that's been plaguing me for a long time. You mean Awada. Right. I got no reason to hold back anymore. I know what I have to do. What you have to do? Yeah! Break a leg, Gramps! Gotcha. But it's not like this is the last time we'll ever see each other. I'm sure we'll cross paths again soon enough. I hope so too. No, I know it. Just do me a favor. Next time we meet, make sure it's not in an interrogation room, okay? But if anything does go down, feel free to reach out. I swear I'll do whatever I can to help. See you, Phantom Thieves. Or, no, you damn kids. <laughs> there he goes. Then Kichi's great showdown in our world is about to begin. I'm sure he'll be fine. We ought to get going now. Yep, home sweet home awaits, along with a nice big helping of Sojiro's curry. Looks like our journey's finally coming to an end.
What were you thinking? Coming home a day late. You didn't even call to let me know. This is sorry, Sojiro. We had to fight this massive god and beat it and save the world from getting brainwashed and, and then... <sighs> Jeez. Well, at least you guys are safe. Welcome back, kids. Oh, and you too. Meow. Uh-huh. Hope you had fun. Sojiro, it was amazing! There's so much I gotta tell you! But I'm too wiped out today. I just wanna eat until I pass out into my curry. Sojiro, curry. <laughs> Already got it ready for you. Just give me a sec to heat it up. <sighs> Sojiro, you're the best. Ah, that aroma of coffee and curry? This place really is comforting. And curry? Does that mean boss is behind the counter? Huh? Haven't I heard that voice somewhere before? Oh, that's right. I never had the chance to introduce myself. Nice to meet you, Sojuro. I'm Sophia, humanity's companion and a member of the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> <laughs> 